G'day, I'm Dr. Peter Price of Classroom Professor. Welcome to this video about the rainbow facts for addition and subtraction. This is a topic which is uh, quite commonly used with young students when they're learning addition and subtraction as a set of really useful number facts, as um, I hope you'll see. So if we start off by looking at a number line, we'll get the idea of the rainbow and why it is we call them that. If we number the number line from 0 to 10 and then join together the pairs which add to 10, we can see, of course, that we get this um, almost concentric circle pattern because every time you increase one number you have to decrease the other and so the facts the pairs of numbers that that whose sum is 10 exist on a line like that and the, the shape that we can draw is um, a bit like a rainbow so if you wanted to you could do a poster for students to learn uh, these facts from we could ask why are rainbow facts even used um, if we think about the use of money as just one example where we often have round numbers that are made up of tens and then we subtract from them we can see that rainbow facts are really useful so for example 20 take away 7 um, in a shopping context could be approached by thinking of the rainbow fact that is 10 take away 7 um, or the pair of numbers that includes 7 which equals 10 um, and of course extend that to 12 we don't uh, to 20 we don't even have to do the whole algorithm we could just extend our knowledge that 10 take away 7 is 3 so 20 take away 7 must be 10 more which is 13 um, that's a, probably a topic for another day we can extend this even further so for larger numbers like 100 take away 35 the first part of this question will be 10 take away 5 which is 5 and there's a rainbow fact um, and then there's some tricky extra bits to do so we're going to have to do that 9 take away 3 is 6 but even that is based on the idea of you know a collection of 10 that we're taking away from so there are a couple of um, applications for the rainbow facts another resource that we can use which I've recommended repeatedly on videos is called the 10 frame so a simple frame like this made of two rows of five squares and we can use this to represent um, any number up to and including 10. So basically any number up to 10 can be recognized very quickly or as we say <coughs> excuse me subitized in other words recognizing how many there are without counting them one by one simply because of the knowledge of the numbers up to 10 and the knowledge that the whole frame contains 10 it's not the same as having these counters down here without the frame because you would have to do some sort of counting or some other way of thinking about what you're seeing but because we know there are 10 and there are three empty this can help to reinforce the idea of um, 7 and 3 is 10 but also to recognize the number 7 so any number as I said up to 10 can be recognized by just looking at the frame and we can see the complement of that number or what number needs to be added to it and we could fill it in with another color perhaps and that's something that students could certainly do to make that up to 10 so we can see 7 plus 3 is 10 all right so a really really useful set of number facts it's a nice um, strategy for students to use in learning their addition and subtraction facts to become familiar with these facts and so that's what we're talking about another activity that students can do to investigate the rainbow facts or the pairs of numbers that add to 10 is to use a number fact grid now obviously I've drawn this by hand and so I haven't drawn all the lines it would look really messy um, but I I'm sure you'll get the idea so um, a standard grid now I've included 0 so it's not exactly 10 by 10 it's actually 11 by 11 plus the borders but we could ask our students with a grid like this perhaps a blank one with just um, squares in the middle to find all the places where 10 would appear or in other words all the places where the pair of numbers being added equals 10 so for example a student could say well 5 plus 5 is 10 so we can put one here because that's in the the row and the column for fives where's another one well we could have 8 and 2 for example there's another 10 there 
and then if we turn that fact around do the um, reverse fact we've got um, 8 plus 2 2 plus 8 in the other direction we can see 10 plus 0 and 0 plus 10 and so the students can see that there's a pattern here which is a diagonal line of number 10s and we could then discuss why do they all appear in that that um, pattern and of course it's related to the fact that if you take another one away from the 10 you have to add another one to the second number and so on so that's just another pattern that you could use so as I said a really useful set of number facts um, quite a nice set for students to develop their um, so as I said before, this is a really useful set of number facts, quite a nice set for the students to get their heads around and to memorize. And um, there it is. So we've come to the end of the video. Hope you've enjoyed it and I'll talk to you next time.